How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. We have some Luger footage facing off against Leviamon, both these two. Gonna be piloting these purple decks to the best of their ability when they're looking to go undefeated in two finals. Looking forward to seeing what the teams have in store for us as we get going. But also, whilst we get set up, I want to remind y'all that the Warpath campaign ends on the 25th of March. We are trying to get all 50 of y'all to try and finish out chapter 17. It's definitely doable. Took only like two days for Saf, who, <laughs> you know, two memory. Both of these two seemingly missing rookies. But yeah, only took like two days to get it done, so I appreciate it if y'all can hop on that, so that way we can do ourselves an EX6K stormy. It seems like Saf is pretty set up now, though, as we get back actually into the video, there'll be more on the rest of it later. Four cost blocker that searches two is just so insane. It is going to swing it in, it's going to hit a seventh lightning. So that is just going to get a pretty quick close up. But double training and a gobbly played down, so we should start seeing some actual value. You're going to see the Garurumon, which is going to see that draw one trash one, which then should proc the Suno, even though it's obviously not under the egg. Didn't gain the one back off the gobbly either. So, a little smidge of a misplay there. Yeah, there was, there was definitely some room to get some more value. We're going to load up the AG off the Luger pushing out now. He's certainly going to be getting some extra value. Not going to gain... Oh, not going to gain memory hacks with the Gazimon still being here. But we're going to go for the training, go into... Go into the play, and then... Gonna go into Levia X, which is gonna shoot the top and bottom. I'm uh, just gonna shoot the top and then it's gonna pop the analog as well, which then passes over two with the Tyranno. Yeah, unfortunate there. Not only having the memory blocker, but also having the Levia X in trash, which can then float. Probably could have used seventh lightning in order to kill off both. Gonna swing three checks is gonna find the AG, gonna swing again, and then we're gonna have the Gazi close things out. Ooh, attempt to close things out, but the Tyrannomon able to get the blocks. We don't get the finish. And now he has to figure out actually how to close things out. We are gonna see that seventh lightning. And yeah, I can't remember if seventh lightning is just uh if you have more than them do something, but I feel like if he'd proc that from Trash, if it was able to, he would have been able to just close out game here. Either way, it's still looking pretty pretty dire. He's going to get in the one off the AG, of course, but we're pretty far back. So we'd have to... We'd have to do double Tyranno here. I'm going to go Luger, and we're going to load up the AG. And then Hell Lugar is going to get the Explosion. I'm going to see Protoform get back something out of the stack and then we are going to heal one. Although, this should just be gobbly swing, right? It's not like purple has any aces that are of any value. I'm going to crack the train and go into Garurumon. Yeah, this seems just like a bold face, like... Just bold face bait. Should be trash one to play from trash to sort out our body. But we are just gonna swing. Oh, there's the block on the AG is why we are setting up here. So it's gonna swing, go into Levia X, which is then gonna cost the seventh lightning. And this time it is actually gonna close out and get the kill. So we'll go through and take game one. Hey y'all, sponsor here. We are generously working with uh, Warpath for today's sponsor. And this week's sponsor, everything's this week is going to be sponsored by Warpath. We are going to be trying to see if we can max out this campaign, not just to help out the channel, but also to kind of give back to the community. If we can get enough people to complete the final goal of reaching chapter 17, then we will be able to do a case tournament coming for EX6. So if you want to see that, we will be fully streamed. We'll try and run it in person as well with all the members of the Misplay for Game podcast being involved in some way, then make sure to use Excom well, Follow the link in the description, or if you're watching this in a stream, 
exclamation mark war path you can find it on all of my socials you can help out without having to spend a single dime it is a pc game so all new players will need to be playing on pc but using my download link for war path can help support the channel every op center to level 10 helps out a little bit Joining the army group that I will have set up by the time that this comes out will also help out the channel and the overall goal is to get as many people to reach chapter 17 as possible. So if you're seeing this a little bit late, you've got a little bit of catching up to do, but we appreciate every little bit that you can do. And once again, this is completely free. And also when you use my link in the description, you'll also get some bonus content to help with your grind. So thank you to Warpath for partnering with us for this video and this week. And Back to the video. All right, they're going to be keeping their opening hands as we go into game two, and Gaffman going to be going first. Pretty costly mistake for Saf did cost him game one. It'd be a pretty costly mistake for y'all to not take part in the Warpath campaign. We are trying to get all 50 of it because that will give us definitely the funds to be able to do a misplay for game EX6 case tournament in June or July. So Come help out the channel. Big thanks to Warpath for sponsoring this week of videos and I uh, hope you guys can take part. It really does not take that long, just a couple of days can get things going and I feel like we're definitely going to be seeing that Levy at Aegis get picked up this time as the boost and training and a men blocker. Going to gain the one off the AG but not going to be able to gain anything more than that. I said though, Luga Swing can pop the... It can pop the Ghazi. And we're going to evolve into Luger with the AG underneath. And then it's just going to swing through. Hits the proto form, so no need to worry about it dying. Do we just try and go Hell Lugar low pass one? Or like reset stack? Yeah, we're going yeah, to go Hell Lugar. It's going to delete itself after playing out the AG at end of turn. And then we'll gain back that Luger from Trash. Analog Youth hatch into a brand new one, so we will not be having an off turn here, no sir. Surely you just end the training, right? Okay, I thought I saw a training, but I guess not. Although I do like the Luger, because it just means that it, it's a body that he can swing pretty much with no problems. I like using the Protoform X antibody to get the Dober X. It's something that people that are on the Dog Engine have been using a lot more. Just that very early Protoform to get the to get it in stack early. Some people use the old X antibody that when attacking to get some pretty decent value, but this one works out quite nicely. Dragomon warping into the Levia X is going to pop. It's interesting that the Levia X builds, some of them don't use the Levia at all. They're just using Dragomon to just go straight into the Levia X. Three checks, of course, hitting into double training is not ideal, especially when Luger's going to be popping out. Is going to load the AG from Tresh, which is going to gain him one. And we do have double training. Uh, I don't think we're going to need the Analog Youth. Going to go into Luger for zero. There's no way for him to close this out properly, so we might actually see if we can go Fenrir here. I'm gonna go training, go into Helugar, and then we're gonna go into, whoa, into the triple drop. And this is where having no biting crush and already being committed to the Levia X pays off. I'm gonna swing, use the effects. Oh, looks like we're gonna just go for the initial pop onto the Goblimon. I wonder if he's just trying to have lethal here. He's got ADP. So we're going to swing Alliance. ADP is going to stop the training from popping out. And then we don't have a clear, but I'm assuming he's just going to try and... Oh, there's no Helugar. Is this an overextension? Because he's going to pass him three. Oh, and it's double Luger as well. So we can't even Chimera here. That's rough. We're gonna go Luga, bring back out the AG. You know, now I'm not a huge fan of the Levia X not getting popped because this in theory is 
crack boost, play a rookie, swing, and unsuspend, but he's fumbled this. Yeah, we're gonna play the Labra, but it, I mean, it's too late. Like, oh wait, no, it's on a Dragomon, so it wouldn't even get the unsuspend. So that's fine. If there was an unsuspend, then this would be a very easy boost setup, but instead, just gonna try and build board. And I think the idea is to try and see if he can get up to three. We're gonna gain back one off the draw one trash one. Hmm. Gonna go proto to go into where uh, Cerberus Mon X. And Cerberus Mon X is gonna bring back the Ghazi. Gonna gain back two off of playing a Digimon by effect. Doesn't look like we have the Levia to go, so it is just going to be whether Fenry gets to do some nonsense. But to be fair, I think we're at the point where it's just going to be swing, pop the Ghazi, unsuspend. The fact that he doesn't have blocker and the fact that he's committed something that is guaranteed, we're just going to see the seventh lightning, which clears two. But then, yeah, it's just going to swing with the remaining body. Nice stuff there from Saf to take us to game three. them having to mulligan for these final hands. Final game and Saf going to be starting things off with an AG and a missed mem boost. He's going to trash two, draw one. Chimera and Fenry in trash. We have an Ignite and a Gabu X just played raw. This is post ban list so we are going to see the Gabu X and then something with a X antibody added to hand and then he's going to have to trash one. Gonna go into the Gabu X here with the proto form. Let's draw two trash two. We're still passing over two in front of Luga. Not ideal, but it seems like we have no AG, so just gonna go into boost. And then setting up a Luga so that way if we do see another Gazimon come out from trash, then we you know. Won't have to deal with it too much. Gonna see Gobbly pitched off and then immediately picked up. Gonna have, ooh, hits into the ADP. And then gonna see Training finds Ghazi. We're gonna take the Dragomon instead though. Now some memory needs to be figured out because you need to clear the Doberex before the Levia disappears. It is battle protection though, so you're gonna have to clear it with an effect, meaning you'd have to go into Fenry. It's gonna swing, pitch off one to clear the gobly, it's gonna get traded out. He's not gonna have the protection is the problem. I'm assuming Levia X is in trash from the fact that we've immediately set one up. But the problem is as well, you've gotta be careful because even if you do that, the Ignite could just swing. Oh, but I guess you wouldn't get the heal if you swung. You'd just be trading stack for stack. So instead, we're just going to see the Evo draw for Suno. I feel like we missed a bunch of draw Suno draws in the last game, but this time, definitely seeing it. Either we're missing the Levia X, or it got pitched early and Saf is just playing around it. But there is a Dragomon in hand, so if it isn't trash, then this is just easy Dragomon. Using the protection, because it's battle protection. Hitting into the trade. Two instances of protection here. It's pretty grim. Oh, wait, no, I guess it doesn't do the protect. Why did it not? Either way, choosing to heal, I guess, keeps him safe on the... Keeps him safe on it. And also giving him back the one of to be able to then cycle more cards. So it might be just that he just chose not to proc the protection instead. There's our confirmation that Levy X is in trash. There is no X antibody under it, and the purple training gonna get rid of the other X antibody. So whilst he's given up 
Whilst he got to see more cycle, he's now given up his Levia X capable stack. You gotta definitely evolve some sort of Luga in the back. There's still no AG and Trash, so you probably go with the new one. And so I'm just trying to figure out whether he can go into uh, Fenry before an X antibody ends up under that Gabu. Which is pretty valid. He, I mean, either way, you should probably put a rookie in the back. He's gonna go Fanglong, is gonna pick up and pitch. And we, of course, did hit a proto form, so we knew it was fine. Still, though, manages to get some decent memory out of it. Finally, gonna see the rookie in the back, and it is gonna be the dual color Lugamon. Now we go into Soul. He's already gained his memory stuff back. Thing is though, I don't think he can go Fenry. We're gonna, s okay, we're gonna do it. Oh, has he picked the wrong card? Okay, no, we are gonna evolve, we're gonna play out. And now we should be able to evolve into Fenry, goes over to two. Plays out one Luga. It's not going to be massive, but we are going to swing Alliance. We are going to pop to get the restand, and it is going to die on the check because we don't have a strong enough body. That's rough. Ooh, that's that's unfortunate. Passing over turn as well because there's no longer the Fenry to give the two, so it is going to be, I guess, the lowest he can pass, but I'm sure Saf would have wanted to get at least a couple extra checks before hitting that Ruin mode. It's another one in hand as well, but we're not in danger of it being climbed up to. I think, honestly, this still probably works out fine because there's three bodies on board. Seventh Lightning would clear only the Fang as well, which leaves three Lugas to kind of just run him down. And it'd be passing over five memory. I'm going to see the Ghazi instead just to choke to one, but like, I don't know. It's kind of cursed because what, Luga swing... Oh, we're going to use the Fang first to add a Lugar back. And... Gonna hit. We're looking good. And then we're going to swing, pop the Gazi. That's going to die. Swing. Let's get the pitch and clear. And then we are going to close things out with Lugamon taking it. So, good clutch up in the final game, despite it being a little bit back and forth. Purple showing what their two top representative decks can do. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. Big thanks to everyone that has been supporting the channel thus far. The people that got to see it early without the ads are the members who have been supporting the channel. Another way to support the channel is, of course, to take part in the sponsorship campaign. But big shout outs and massive thank you to, at the Ultimates tier, the Tommy NT, Tommy Tricks. At Champions, we have L and Coffee Deus. And then for the rookies, we do have DHM, Bradley Rob, and Seb Bainbridge Coombs finishing things out. Once again, massive thank you to all those names listed, and we will see you in the next one.